This week there's been some pretty exciting news for those of us who like the Hover Air X1. The X2 that I'd been hoping for has just been announced, though it's not actually called the X2, it's called the X1 Pro, and it comes with some very significant upgrades. All we have so far is this image and spec list. It has a cool new design, it looks like it still folds up for portability which is great, the camera and gimbal look beefier, the battery is still removable, and the controls have been redesigned, now having a central button and the left and right D-pad. And this looks like it might be a display. I really hope so because it would be great if we had more control over the settings without using the phone app. The specs have been given some major upgrades. It now shoots 4K60 and 1080p 120. It has a half inch type sensor with a wider angle lens than before. It can fly more than twice as fast at 60 km per hour or 37 miles per hour. And in auto follow mode, it can do 42 km per hour or 26 miles per hour, which means it can now keep up with cyclists. A really exciting upgrade for me is that it can fly over water, snow and over the edge of cliffs. Flight time is acclaimed 16 minutes, the weight is 192 grams, it has rear side active collision detection, a max altitude of 5.5 kilometers, but I don't think that means it can ascend to that height. I think it refers to the altitude that it can sustain flight in if you're hiking up a mountain for example. And lastly it has level 5 wind resistance. And if you thought that was a big upgrade, then we have the X1 Pro Max with 8K 30fps, 4K 120 slow motion, 4K 60 with high dynamic range, 10 bit HLG color, a much larger sensor and an even wider lens, vision based active collision and Wi-Fi 6. So some pretty big upgrades there. The Pro Max with 8K 30 and 4K 120 is such a massive leap ahead of the original X1 with its 2.7K 30. I'm surprised this is still called an X1 and not an X2. In another photo we have these accessories. They're blurred out in this image but they might be wireless microphones or maybe follow me beacons or maybe some kind of remote control. I'm not sure. This news happens to come out right when DJI are about to release their new Neo which is a similar autonomous selfie drone. I've been in contact with Zero Zero Robotics and hopefully I'll be able to get hold of a review unit, but I don't know any more details than you do. But it's going to be a really interesting month for flying selfie cams. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time.